Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my video. Hope you guys are having a lovely day over there. We have another brand new PowerPoint game. And this one is called Mr. Potato Head. So hope you guys enjoy it. As always, I want to thank my viewers, subscribers, and contributors. Without you guys, this channel wouldn't be possible. So thank you guys. Also, you can grab this free PowerPoint game template in the description box below this video. Don't forget to install the font that will be included with this game so that your PowerPoint game looks like the demonstration video. Also, if you want to help out this channel even further, you can like, share, and comment. All right, so let's take a look at the game here. There are only two slides here. Uh, slide number two and slide number three, the main game and the QA. And then I have also included extra stuff and extra QA paste and copy to make it easier for you guys. You can watch the video to the end to learn how to edit this PowerPoint game template. Also, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I put them up on this channel. All right, so let's hit the play button right here. So on the left, we have the Mr. Potato Head, how to play, and I'll walk you guys through this and also show you a demonstration later. On the right side, we have how to edit. And you can read through this and click on the image here to zoom in and see um, how I edit, uh, how to edit the game for yourself. However, I hope you guys can watch this video until the end to learn how to do that with me as well. Again, you can read uh, through the how to edit tutorial here, and you can click on the picture to zoom in and zoom out to check out how um, how to edit your own game. All right, so let's go over how to play this game. You can play this one-on-one -on -one or in a small group. Start by clicking on the customize button and choose body for all players. Click on the question button to go to the QA slide. Uh, students choose a block to answer a question. And if the students can answer, click on the spinner on the left side of the slide. If the spinner stops on a body part, add the body part for the player according to the numbers. So here is the spinner right here. So we have the body parts, uh, add body parts, or remove body parts, or band body part. If the spinner stops on a band, remove a body part by clicking on the band button next to the customize button. Continue the game until one player completes Mr. Potato Head or the player with the most body part wins. All right, so here is the start game button. So let's click on that to see the game. So here's the main game board. We got customize one for team one and ban one for team one. And here is uh, team two and ban two for team two. And the question button in the middle. So let's start by clicking the customize button here. And this will bring up our body parts. So we have to start with the body first. So everyone starts with a body. So click on that for player one and also for player two. And you can click on customize again to hide the body parts. Click on it again to reveal it. Now let's click on the QA here to see what it looks like. Super. All right, so here we have some blocks, alphabet on the blocks. And when we click on it, on the letter K here, it will bring up the question, which we can edit. Uh, you can edit the question and add your own picture. So you can click anywhere on the uh, question holder here, and that will bring up the answer for letter K. 
So let's click anywhere on answer here to remove it from the screen. So if the students, um, if the student is able to answer it correctly, they can you can click on the spinner here and they can just say stop. And it landed on two body parts. So click on return. So that was player one and they get to choose two body parts. So maybe eyes. You can choose any eyes you want. There's three sets of eyes, nose, mouth, ears, shoes, hat, glasses, and arms. So let's try the mouth here. I think I like this one. All right. Let's click on question again for player two. All right, so let's find uh, letter A this time. Let's try, where's letter A here? There it is, click on that. And again, you can edit the question here. Add your own image in here. And you click anywhere on the question holder to bring up the answer. And you can edit the answer later as well. Now click anywhere on the answer here to remove it. And now you, you can click on the spinner. And now it landed on three body parts. So let's hit return, go to player two and add three body parts. So let's say nose, eyes, and uh, maybe ears. Cool. I think I like this one. I'll, I'll go with uh, maybe this one right here. All right, let's go again, player one. So pick a uh, cube here, uh, maybe Y. There it is. Again, you can edit the question. Click on the question holder to reveal the answer and click on the answer to remove it from the screen. And then you can click on the spinner here. And let's see. Oh, so it's right in the middle. So they can either choose two body parts or they can ban player one or player two or player one and two gets banned. So let's go and um, All right, let's add two body parts for player one. Nose and uh, let's try arms. Ooh, macho. Maybe this one. I think that looks okay. <laughs> let's go back for player two. Let's choose a different cube here. Let's find a S this time. Oops. And if they are able to answer it correctly, they can spin the wheel here. And let's see, ooh, band player two, what? All right, so ban player two. So I ban myself. Let's hit ban and see what happens. Oh, My eyes! Wow. Oh no! So again, you have to get all the body parts or complete Mr. Potato Head to win. So let's go back in here. And let's just, um, let's see, let's just pick something else here. Answer the question. Get it right. Spin the wheel. Player one gets three body parts all right let's see let's put an ear on maybe the yeah this one uh, glasses cool beans that's great maybe that one and let's go back so you kind of get the idea right pick a block answer the question and spin the wheel here and we have here, it's in between. So two body parts or ban player one and two. So player one is very close, so I want to ban player one. Well, that's what's instead. happening, huh? And that's I also just have to ban not fair. Two, it's, it's it, ban player one and two. Oh no. All right, again, spin the wheel. Two body parts for player one. So I'll put my eyes, uh, let's try shoes this time. And uh, yeah, put the eyes back. Yes, complete. So player one is the winner. And you see what it looks like. You can close the customize button to see what your potato head looks like. All right, so that's just have fun here and uh, walk you through the wheels. There is uh, one body part, two body parts, three body parts, band player one and two. Hello, and if there's no body parts, it won't ban the body part because uh, the ban button is set to random, so it randomly oh, bans so body parts. So you can't select a body part to ban, it will just ban randomly. Oh, man. Like ears, eyes, nose, or mouths. Oh no. Etc. Again, this is just one way of playing the game. That's However, just not you can fair. use it any way you want in your That's classroom rhyming. with whatever grammar you want. Um this is just the um, oh, no. 
the way I imagine it when I make this PowerPoint game, but maybe you have your own ideas on how to use uh, this particular PowerPoint game. And if you do, hope you guys can share your um, experiences and how you use this game in the classroom with other viewers. If you guys have found any success with any of my PowerPoint games, I hope that you can share your stories here on this channel as well. All right, so let's take a look at how we can edit the QA uh, for our game. Um, we'll have to hit the escape button and go to slide number three. All right, so hit the escape button and we'll head over to slide number three right here below the, uh, the main game board. So click on that. And now we want to open our selection pane. Yours might be located somewhere else, but mine is here. I'm using a MacBook PowerPoint. We want to click hide all and open question Z, answer Z and picture Z. So open these three in a group. So let's add a question here. What is he doing? And let's put an answer here. He is taking, oops, taking a picture of a cat. All right, now we'll go to picture here, right click, go to change picture from a file and we'll put an image that'll match our question. So let's see, where is a picture of a guy taking a, a guy taking a picture of a cat? Oh, right here. Click on that and just hit insert and then adjust the picture until you're happy with it. And then we can close question Z and move on to the next one. So question Y, answer Y and picture Y. So let's see, what are they doing? And we can put the answer here. They are arm wrestling. Cool. All right, click on picture, change picture from a file and let's insert a different picture to match our question. All right, now we can hide it and we can go on to the next question. So make sure you edit these in groups. So we have Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, and so on. And I'll show you later how to make more questions if you want to add more uh, questions to your game. Right now, there's only A to Z. So you might want to add more if you have a bigger class. Okay, let's find a picture for this question. Um, maybe this one for the leaky pipe. All right. And now once you finish editing everything, just click show all and make sure you save your game so you don't lose all of this hard work. All right. So here we have a Z, Y and X. So let's find Z, Y, X block and see what that looks like. All right, let's see, where is it? Uh, oh, there it is, Z. What is he doing? Click here, he is taking a picture of a cat. Awesome. Now you can click the spinner to get your reward. I want two body parts. All right, so let's give two body parts. And next was, uh, what was it, Y, I think? All right, what are they doing? Click here on the question holder, they are arm wrestling. And if you get that right, they can spin the wheel here to get the reward, two body parts, lucky. So let's add ears and eyes. All right, and the last one was X, right? What is he looking at? He is looking at the leaky pipe. And then you can spin the wheel for a reward. Three body parts. All right, let's add this one and maybe this one. I think this one's cool. Great. Again, whoever completes their Mr. Potato Head wins or whoever gets the most body part wins. And now let's take a look at how we can edit the spinner. So hit escape on your keyboard. Open your section pane again. Click here on the spinner button here and just hide that and now you can edit this 
uh, the wheel. You can edit the text or you can add whatever you want in there. So let's just, oops, let's just zoom in a little bit. And uh, right here, uh, I'll click here and I'll change this to two. And you can also change this as well. Um, it can be whatever you want. And uh, let's see, body parts. Let's just change the spelling a little bit. Or you can drag, um, you can drag the text to a different location if you want. Uh, let's say band player one only here, if that's what you want to do, and so on. And once you're done editing that, just make sure you uh, unhide the spinner button, and you can test it out to see if it works. Uh, better for you. And if you want to create more questions and answer, head over to slide number five and copy this block, this question, this picture, and this answer. That's all you have to do. Control C or copy and paste to slide number three here. So just paste it here. I'm using a MacBook, so Control V for me to paste it here. And then just move the block anywhere you want, the new block, and you give it a name whatever name you want. This is just a generic name for now, uh, but you can call it whatever you want. And let's see, let's test it out. Let's click on block number three, the one that we just copied and pasted onto slide number three. So there it is, block number three, let's click on that. Example question here, and example answer here. Cool, all right. I hope you guys enjoy this little PowerPoint game. If you have any ideas, suggestions, feel free to write it down in the comment section below and I'll definitely take a look at that. Who knows, maybe one of your PowerPoint game ideas will make it to the next video. Again, if you find any success using my PowerPoint games or materials, please don't hesitate to share your stories with other viewers on this channel. Again, I want to thank all of the viewers, subscribers, and contributors. Without you guys, this channel wouldn't be possible. And if you want to help out this channel, don't forget to like, share, and comment. Oh no. Oh, that's what's happening. More huh? awesome PowerPoint games. That's just are coming not fair. Very soon. I can't tell you what it is, That's it's a secret, rhyming. but I hope oh, that so you can angry. stay tuned and check it out. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I put them up on this channel. Again, hope you guys are having a wonderful day over there. I wish you the best of luck in your classes.